Welcome to the Our Team Podcast, powered by EXP Realty. Are you an agent looking to level up? Are you someone looking to buy or sell real estate? Fantastic. This is the show for you. Hey guys, thank you for joining us. This is the Our Team Podcast. Super happy to have a special guest with us today. And again, I've done this many times sure. You know, during the podcast. A lot of times we do the podcast in the studio here after we do our meetings like we just had. Yeah. And so there's this is like what I call the afterglow of sure. the, the meeting. So there's, you know, 15 agents over there chit-chatting about stuff that, you know, it doesn't really need to be on the podcast, right. but you can still hear me in the background. So uh, for those of you listening, please uh, don't, don't interpret the background noise as unprofessional. Interpret it as... A lot of cool things happening. Yeah, here, yeah, they're right? busy. There's a lot of good conversations going on and good ideas, and and uh, they're busy and productive, which is Absol- always great. Absolutely. So this is Ron Chapman. Um, I was just ex- uh, ex- exposed to you from our coach Andy Nazareth. Yeah, Andy's a great guy. Yeah, uh, he knocked it out of the ballpark. He today. really did. Isn't I, I took some notes. He's he, every time Andy speaks to the team. He just has such good nuggets. He really, he really did. And and what I just from the, the the few notes that I took, he was talking about telling the stories. And uh, I've been in the business for a little over twenty years. Mm-hmm. And the way I got started, it's super funny. A, a good friend of mine that I went to to um, Christian College with in, in Oklahoma, he uh, called me one day. He was in Tulsa, and I had already moved back home to, to Orange County. I was living in Mission Viejo, yeah. working for Cox Communications. You know, barely making it. Yeah. Young, married, two kids, and, and just living life. Uh, he called me up and he said, hey, what are you doing? I said, what do you mean, what am I doing? And he goes, for work. And I said, well, I'm a dispatch lead for this cable company. Why? And he goes, I'm doing mortgages. And I said, okay, what's a mortgage? And he you didn't goes, even know what a mortgage was. I had no clue what a mortgage was. I'm a renting. Mortgage? Yeah, I'm living yeah. in an apartment. And he said, I'm making $10,000 a month. And $10,000 a month is a good income now, but back then... You know, that's, that's, that's serious cash, that's serious cash. And, um, he said, would you like to learn my business? And I said, well, I don't have a, a degree in, in marketing or communications. And he said, we're having our, our sales meeting in Las Vegas in two weeks. Well, Can you come up there and meet my sales manager? Yeah. Plus it's Vegas. It's Vegas. It's Vegas. So I said, heck yeah, let's do it. So we got together all the gas money we can get. And, and my wife packed me a couple sandwiches and I drove up there for the day met with the sales manager, hired me on the spot. Oh, that's awesome. So I'm thoroughly excited about this new proposition of making ten grand a month selling mortgages. Again, I didn't know what it was. He was going to teach me. Uh, I could sell anything, so that wasn't going to be a problem. What was cool is my in-laws lived in Tulsa. My wife was pregnant, so perfect. We get to go home. She gets to be by her mom. Grandma and grandpa are going to help us out. Everything's awesome. Two weeks before we move, my buddy calls me says, guess what? I got promoted. So I'm thinking, cool, I struck gold here. Now right. he's going to be the branch manager of where I'm working. And he said, I got promoted to branch manager in Tucson, Arizona. Oh, no. I want you to join me in Arizona. So uh, I said, I can't. You know, my family's everyone's all excited about us going out. And he said, no worries. I will take care of you. Uh, the guys in the branch taught me the business, and I've been in ever since. But the story, which really made me fall in love with mortgages, is I did a refinance for a watermelon farmer. Okay. He owned five acres, a single wide mobile home, and we took his rate from 18% down to 12%, paid off all of his debt, and saved him 400 bucks a month. 12%. 12%. And that was really good That back was then. really, really good. Yeah. So we go, back then we did our own signing, we did everything. So I go sign the loan uh, at his house, and when we're done, he said, here's my watermelons, go ahead and take any one that you want. So he's opening his heart to me, basically, yeah. saying, take my prized possession. I, I didn't know the difference between a good watermelon or a bad one. But we took one home, and um, I realized at that point that I'm, I'm just hooked. I'm able to change people's financials life. Right. And, and it was just amazing. So, And you like watermelon. And I like watermelon, yeah. Who doesn't like Who watermelon? Who doesn't like watermelon? Right? It was be- delicious. Probably the best one I've ever had. That's really cool. Yeah. You know. This one of the fact that you told that story yeah. is very, it's very cool, mm-hmm. and and I think it's we just talked about this this morning about storytelling, right? Like when you're, when you're in a, a sales environment, instead of just dumping a bunch of stats on yeah. on why you should be used in a transaction, right? Sometimes it's just a lot better to say, you know, can I tell you a story? Yeah, 
and you it, you you tell a real story right. about somebody that was really struggling with something, yeah. and you were able to do this, 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 and this, and now they're here. Right. You know, would you like to be my next success story? Exactly. You know, uh, storytelling is way better than stats. Yeah, it, you it need really stats is. Because at the end of the day, you know, we we all are offering the same product as a lender. You know, yeah. we have FHA, conventional VA. Um, the difference is the service that you're going to get. Right. You know, all my time is invested in making sure that you accomplish your goals and green, dreams. Yeah. And buying a house is the biggest financial transaction you'll ever make. Yep. It's 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 that or Louis Vuitton purses. <laughs> right. So you know my wife. Yes. Yes. I think. Yeah. Yes. Uh, well, so I wanted to talk about something that uh, you told us about. Yeah. Uh, the. What is it? The American Dream? Or yeah, what are they it's called? called the California Dream for All program. Now, this California was California uh, Dream. For yeah, all. this okay. was listed. Uh, it came out. Uh, gosh, February, March yeah. Uh, yeah. of this year, right? Yep. And basically, it, it's a really great program. Governor Newsom originally earmarked three hundred million dollars for this program. Right. Then budget cuts came, and they dropped it down to like thirty, thirty-six million. Which is like Which 30, is, that's thirty six houses. In it's nothing Temecula. basically. Yeah. But the way the program works is the state will lend you a twenty percent down payment. Mm-hmm. Um, it does not need to be paid back until you sell the property. There's no interest rate on it. There's no monthly payments. They're saying here we're going to go ahead and lend you twenty percent down. The only catch is when you sell the house eventually, we're going to split the equity. We're going to get ten to fifteen percent of the equity. Okay. Which is totally fine. Uh, you're allowed to refinance once during that time period without paying back that that original twenty okay. worth twenty percent down plus the equity. So it's not tied to any loan product. It's tied not at to, all. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Because so, if they refinance, and it would be a different loan product. Right. So they realize that rates are high now in today's environment. Rates are high, and if the opportunity comes and rates drop, someone's going to want to refinance and save more money. Absolutely. And then you know, if you never move, then you you never sell that house. Then you never have to pay that back technically. Right. Wow. Well, if the property depreciates, you know, they're not going to hold you to that sh- equity share because there's nothing to share. Yeah. I remember when this when this came out, uh, it it seemed to come out, everyone got super excited about it, and then within it seemed like weeks, they had run out of money. They did. It was it was just a, it, it ended up being nothing more than just a tease. Because for for literally a month after it was done, when they ran out of money, we had buyers calling us saying, "Hey, I want to take advantage of this program and blah blah blah." So I'm, I'm like, "I'm so sorry." Yeah, it's done all day, uh, every day. Yeah, um, our phones were ringing off the hook. It, I, I guess you use the word tease. I think it's more like a lottery almost yeah. for the few lucky people who were able to take advantage of that. I actually had two loans in process, and we had to lock the loan. And all that means is we're locking in the interest rate. We're committing to a, a certain period of time, yep. and we're basically guaranteeing that this client's going to proceed with the loan. Uh, you had to lock the rate in order to reserve the funds. Right. And within 20 minutes of me, I mean, I'm inputting the loan, I'm getting ready to lock, and we get an email that the program is discontinued. It ran out of funds. Did you ever close on any one of them? I did not. Yeah. Well, I, I know. I know of one, one that did. Yeah. Yeah. Well, there just wasn't enough money. So there wasn't. So this is coming up um, in the next month or so. Yes, sir. It's going gonna, it's gonna to come again. Are, is there more money this time? Yeah, so that's a great question. So we got an email from the state of California on July 18th. Okay. Uh, and I'm just reading it word for word. The legislator passed and Governor Gavin Newsom signed into law the 2324 state budget, which provides $20 million dollars. For the Cal Half a Dream for All Shared Appreciation Loan Program, twenty million. Twenty million. So it's going up from thirty something million to tw- excuse me, two hundred million. Mm. Yeah, not twenty. Excuse me, okay. two hundred million dollars. So okay, so that's a that's a significant. It is. And so let's break that down so so the listeners can understand exactly sure. what it is. So so it so twenty percent. The average home, let's just say in Temecula, yeah. uh, we're at a million dollars basically right. for a lot of homes here. So twenty percent down. That's Two hundred thousand dollars. Correct. So, uh, what a million? I want. I don't. I don't even know if a million dollar home would qualify. It's not about the house, right? It's, it's about not about the house. So there is. I mean, you're going to have to go to the conforming loan limits. Okay. Uh, so in Riverside County, so there will be up it, there, but they make allowances. You can do the high balance programs, which okay. will work for this. Wow. Uh, what they're going to do is the income limits. So, so check this out. Uh, L.A. County, right? One hundred ninety-four thousand dollars you can make. 
And still qualify and for still this program? Qualify. Are you kidding me? 194 grand. That's insane. Okay. Riverside County is a little bit lower, 187. That's a lot of, and, but that, and that's like joint whole household income. Yeah, you and your wife. But it's not, a, it's not a government, so it's not an FHA loan. So let's say that your wife makes a good amount of money and it would throw you over that threshold. Well, we'll just use you, the husband, or vice versa. Oh, so you can, you can omit. You can from, omit one of the spouses. Jeez. Okay, I'm, I'm not done there. So uh, San Diego County, take a wild guess. What do you think it is? Income. Uh, is it over two? Yeah. Are you serious? It's over two? <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. But so th- this program seems like it should be the kind of program to help those that maybe really need the help. Right. That doesn't sound like the, I mean, I'm not, ch- look, I'm not, there's no such, I, I don't believe in class envy and all yeah, that kind of yeah. stuff. I mean, I'm all about pro growth. And when I, when people make a lot of money, I love it because sure. I know how trickle down works. I love it. But it seems like if you make $200,000 a year, you don't need a program like this. Right. But now it is a first-time homebuyer program. Oh, okay. So but there is a little filter. all that means is you cannot have had ownership interest in a property in three years. Right. Oh, it's three years, not three two. Three years. Yeah. Okay. So you sold your property you know, when values were up four years ago right. or whatever, and you've been living in your RV or whatever, traveling yeah. and banking that money. Hey, this is for you. So if you've owned multiple homes, if you're listening mm-hmm. to this right now, because wrap your head around it, if you've owned multiple homes, but for the last three months, three or years. I mean, excuse me, three years, you've been living in a van down by the river. Yeah. You've become a first time buyer again. Correct. And you qualify for this program. Yes, you do. As long as you make less than two hundred thousand dollars in San Diego. Two hundred and thirty one thousand dollars in San Diego. As long as you make County. less than two thirty one K a year living in a van down right. by the river yeah. you are a first-time buyer and you qualify for this but if you are someone that wants to take advantage of this program when it comes yeah. out do you do you start getting ready for it now or do you are you crazy and just and wait you, yeah, you have it, to get all your ducks in a row you have so you to can do it now pull your, the trigger on right it. so what we've learned from this is you have to be fully prepared have five or six different properties that you're interested in okay because they're going to go quick yeah. Someone's going to lend you 20% down, which is $100,000, $200,000. Yep. Not only, I mean, think about this. Not only is it the down payment, but your monthly payment's going to be lower because you're coming in on a lower loan amount. Yeah, you're coming in with 20%. 20% down. Yeah. So that means no PMI. Yep. Right? Wait, it does? Yeah, no PMI on this because your loan to value is 80%. Explain that to the listener. So uh, PMI is private mortgage insurance. And the only thing it does, it protects the lender in the event of foreclosure. Right. There's no benefit to the consumer whatsoever. Right. God forbid you lose your job, something happens, you have they have to foreclose on your house. It's insured so the lender will get paid. So the PMI insurance, private mortgage insurance, will pay the lender of the loss. But if there's 20% stake in the game. Yeah, that's enough for them to recover any yeah. Costs associated with that. So therefore, there's no there's PMI. No PMI. Mm-hmm. Give you an example: PMI on an eight hundred thousand dollar loan today, what three, four, five hundred bucks a yeah. month. So that's a huge difference. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, and uh, let me finish off. Orange County is the highest at two hundred and fifty three thousand dollars. I can't even wrap my head. Yeah, that's crazy. No, I mean, yeah, and I even haven't even got into like Marin County up in in Northern California and yeah. Contra Costa and yeah. Yeah, Sacramento. if you live in San Jose, then you can, you're can. you probably allowed to make $600,000 right. and qualify for this program. So back to your question. Should, if, you know, I'm a, I'm a first-time home buyer. I've been skittish of the market, right? Things are high. I don't know if I can afford that payment. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and, and contact the our team. Get pre-approved. Look at some houses that you like because um, once this program is released, we're going to have to be ready to go. Yeah. You know, you're going to have to put offers in and, and be ready to close. What the state requires is two things. You have to uh, take a home buyer's counseling course online, okay. which is ninety nine dollars. Okay. After that, they give you a certificate number, and you make an appointment with a counselor that you have to complete a phone interview with. Okay. So both of those, not one or the other, it has to be both. So it's ninety nine bucks, and how long does it take to get all that stuff done? It's like not even an hour. Okay. Yeah. But but what about the whole telephone thing? You probably have to so schedule. last time it happened, uh, we would do our online course. Yeah. And then with a the few clients that I had in it, it was 30 to 40 days before they had the appointment just because the counselors were so overwhelmed. Okay, but that's not going to work. That's not how you get things done quick. So no. so can before now, so this isn't launched yet. Correct. 
Can anyone listening to this right now, if there's a buyer that really wants to take advantage of this program, can we help them get that counseling and stuff out of the way Yeah, now? we can go ahead and get the counseling done now and the phone appointment now because I think the, the expiration for that is four months, 120 days. So guys, if you're listening to this and you're a buyer and you want help with this, please reach out to us because we can get you connected with the right people at the right time. And, and obviously our team... I'm asking you a lot of questions like no, I don't that's, know anything, fine, but yeah. the truth is I know everything. <laughs> uh, we we are familiar with this program. We we understand how it works, and we're definitely um, able to assist you yeah. if you are uh, wanting to, to take advantage of this. But timing is of the essence. It really it, is. It, you know, there was only 36 million last time. There's yeah. 200 million this 200 time. That's million. a big number, but so many people missed out. I think there's going to be more people that say, let's not miss out this time. Correct. 100% so correct. I, I think, honestly, it's going to disappear, even though it's so much more. It's four times the amount. It's, yeah. it's going to go away. It's going to go quick. It will. In the same amount of time. Yeah. Because if you're talking $100,000 to $200,000 a shot, that's going to take from that $200 million pretty quick. Yeah. Because, yeah, again, true. it's the whole state of California. Yeah. It's more like six times the amount. Yeah. Now that I do the math a lot, that's incredible. Yeah. And you do have to have a 680 credit score. So it's not amazing credit, but yeah. you know there are some lenders that will go down to 660, but they're a little more strict on their debt ratio, just what you have coming in versus what you have going out. Yeah, okay. So 680 is what wow. we're looking for on that program. Okay. So let me shift gears real quick. Yeah, please. Uh, thank you for telling us You're about welcome. all this. I wanted our audience to get to know you, and you're obviously a great lender. Um, if you are not... Uh, a buyer yeah. and you're not interested in this program. Sure. Let's say you are a real estate agent okay. and you have a lot of buyers, then I would leverage this tool, this or this product, excuse me, uh, use it as a tool to reach out to your entire database and let them know that this is coming. Right. Because even if they miss the boat, even if your buyers don't really qualify or they can't quite put it together, it's still an incredible talking point it really is you know to be able to reach out to your entire database and say if you're a home buyer and you're struggling you want to be a home a homeowner and you're struggling with the down payment there is a program coming please reach out to me just a quick couple of bullet points of what it is please reach out to me yeah and put that that campaign out there with a couple of touches some text some video do some video i'm big on video you know um this program even if you don't end up being able to use it is a great way to get a response from some of your buyers that are maybe giving you the cold shoulder because they don't think they can they can qualify. Right, it really is. Yeah, and I had um, three clients that uh, I had many more apply, but out of the three clients that almost made it, I didn't lose those transactions. No, they went in and one guy did FHA three and a half percent down, sure. and the other two actually got money from their family. Yeah, and well, that's the whole point. Yeah. We want to help people get into a home, right? And, and it's soon. It, and talk about time is of the essence. The way the market is happening, we know rates are going to go down. Yeah, they will. And they will. And and uh, all the economists that we're following are saying stating that. I'm not making that up. I'm, it's it's collectively. There's just really really talented you know uh, analysts out there that are saying this is going to happen. So I believe them. They've not been wrong yet. Right. And so we know rates are going to come down. Values are going to go up. Yeah. So so just get in now. Buy. Buy a dang house that you can, you know, if you can afford it, get, right. it, get into it at 7%. Who sure. cares? The rates are, you can refi and you're going to have more equity. So the, the, I guess the point I'm trying to make is a lot of people just need to be uh, encouraged in a very professional way right. to, to, to get off the fence. Sure. And so you can actually use a program like this uh, it, to reach out to your database. And even if they don't, even if they miss the boat, you can still have a conversation with them about what products they can use. There's so many amazing products that you offer as a lender. Right. And, you know, I mean, it can get people off, 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 the, in, fence. off the fence and into a home and, and on that path of, you know, building equity and building right. wealth. So Another point. So for conversation's sake, let's say rates a year ago were at 6% and now they're 7 right? Yeah. And the payment difference between 6 and 7 let's just say it was $300 a month. Yeah. Okay? So $300 times 12, $3,600. Over a three-year period yep. is $10,800. Yeah. Property values are going to appreciate way more than that. 
So if I'm a buyer and I'm even concerned if it's about only one percent, it's even, way more than yeah. That. So yeah. if I'm a buyer, am I worried about ten thousand dollars over a three year period, knowing that in three years property values are going to go up thirty, forty plus thousand yeah. dollars? Sure. Well, and don't forget how much of that is a write off. Right. right. I mean, if you're paying a higher interest rate, then you're yeah. actually probably able to itemize that out. Exactly. When I mean, look, I look at my my tax guy is just like I'm so you know like. When we go through it all, I'm like, I can't get a better write-off on my house. He said, <laughs> no, Brian, you're at a 30-year fixed at 2%. <laughs> right. Like, you're not even hitting There's, the benchmark. Yeah. So, so, I mean, look, it's not a good strategy. It's not a good wealth strategy to, you know, ha- bank on a ton of write-offs. Right. It's better to ha- not have any and still be make more. But, but, exactly. but the point is, is when you have something like this, you can offset it on an annual basis just by – you know the tax write off. I think we talked about this earlier last I'm time we met. Not a tax met. guy, but you know whatever. Yeah, that's your disclaimer. Yeah. Uh, last time we met, we talked and we said if you're a renter and you're paying three grand, four grand a month right now, what's your interest rate? It's about a hundred percent. Hundred percent, because yeah. all of that money is going to make Brian Hour, who's your landlord, richer. Yes. Right. I'm a really nice landlord. <laughs> well, thank you so much for, for sure. being on the famous our team podcast yeah thank you for having me i appreciate it this is not going to be the last time no yeah there's a lot of topics we can we can hit yeah and i think with with uh the way this podcast rolls it's really a broad audience because we have you know brand new agents that that get nuggets out of this yeah there's buyers who are you know find the the because we're 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 out there on youtube and we're out there on facebook and and um you know all the different podcast platforms and so it's amazing to see, like, uh, for some reason, a lot of our listeners aren't even in California. <laughs> so, okay. whatever. so, hi, if you're listening and you're not in California, um, there's still things that are relatable re- regarding real, if, whether you're a buyer or a seller so, yeah. or an agent that's just trying to level up a little bit. We, we, we talk about all those things. So, at some point, we can even talk about how you as a lender um, can help agents level up sure. because of your knowledge. and We work like together. That. You know, we, we want together. everyone to succeed. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Well, cool. Do you have anything else you want to say before we pull the plug on this? No, uh, I'm available 24-7. Uh, my direct line is 951-373-9346. Work for Barrett Financial and MLS 346869. Why don't you give your phone number one more time? Uh, and that's 951-373-9346. Give them a call. Give them a text. Very, uh, very easily accessible. And uh, appreciate you, brother. Yeah, thanks so much for your time. Hey, wait, Thanks before you guys, go, we'll would you do us a favor? Right. If you found any value in this content, would you please like and subscribe to it? Maybe even leave a comment. It really helps us out.